Hi, my name is Tom Guthrie. I'm a professor of sociology and anthropology. And in the fall, I'm gonna be teaching a class called Monuments and the Politics of the Past. The past matters, it's important. And how we think about the past is really significant. It's significant not only in terms of how we understand the past itself, but how we understand who we are today. What kind of society do we want to live in? And so this is, relates to something that I've been interested in for a very long time, which is how do we commemorate the past? How do we understand the past? What does the past mean for us today? And the premise of the class is that commemorations tell us as much about the present as they do about the past. So one of the major issues that we'll be talking about in the class is white supremacy, the assertion of white supremacy, and the critique of white supremacy. So we'll be thinking about the context in which monuments were established. And for the Civil War monuments that are around today, that context is um, inextricably connected to white supremacy. So it makes sense then that for folks who are critiquing white supremacy, these monuments might be a a focal point or a flashpoint. One of the things that I also have planned is for the last week, so we're gonna be doing a lot of critical thinking um, and historical research in the first part of the class, deconstructing some monuments, looking at some counter monuments. But in the last week, I'm gonna ask students to imagine creating their own monuments. So this is gonna involve some creative thinking. So students will be working in small groups to propose topics or people that they think should be commemorated in public spaces. They'll have to explain to their fellow students why they think this would be a good topic for commemoration and then actually come up with a plan. So what would the monument look like? Where would it be? Who do we um, imagine becoming in the future? So this is a very timely topic, it's a very relevant topic, and I hope that by the end of this class, you will be in a better position to think critically about how we use the past and the present.